Hello, this is 1.30 p.m. Wednesday, India time. And we are live on the winning window. Episode number 48. Why am I saying 48 is? This is our 48th week for the countdown to 2020. Um, ideally, this is the fifth episode of this uh, series of uh, weekly videos. And we are here. So we are almost at the end of January. This is the last week of the January left. Not even the last week. I think it's just a couple of days now. And I'm really, really excited about certain things. Like, you know, I'm really, really preparing, geared up for my three-day event, which is happening on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at Mumbai Holiday in Andheri East, which is like a like a great event, massive event, which is happening in terms of transformations. And we have about 40 people enrolled for this event and which is like, like really, really looking forward. My whole team and I and everybody is looking forward. And we do some pre-consults, pre-consultations before the event for every participant so that we understand every participant's uh, challenges that they're facing. And we can be even in the workshop setting, even in the group setting, that we can deliver one-to-one -one results to them. Um, so this is something that we are doing right now, today and tomorrow is a constant work, constantly in the consultation, meeting people, getting them over the Zoom calls and trying to understand what is it that we need to change in them or uh, needs to change in them so that they can go to, you know take the different trajectory of their life and go to the next level in their life so we've already done about uh, seven consultations since morning and i took a little break for my lunch and this live because we have a pact here that we are meeting every wednesday at 1 30 pm and once I do finish this live, then I'm going to move on again to the consultations till evening 6.30. And that's my life. Uh, that's my day looks like, not my life looks like, that's my day looks like today. Uh, how about you guys? Like, have you had your lunch uh, or you're going on to have your lunch and what is happening right now? So I was just chatting a little bit because I was waiting for people to join in. Uh, for those of you who would like to watch this video later, this video is available on Facebook later as well. All, in fact, all the videos and we also upload them on the YouTube channel. So you can go and check in that as well. Um, with this, now I'm straight going into the today's topic of the winning window uh, countdown to 2020. How do you remain on that track that you have planned for yourself? So last four weeks, we looked at what are the goals that you want? How do you convince your people around you? How do you become more helpful to the people around you so that you create your support system? And, and you've been working pretty hard because I am getting those emails and you know, you're sending me emails and sending me personal messages and telling me that how is your life changing in just about four weeks? You already saw it. At the same time, you're also posing some challenges that you're going through. Some challenges to be on the track and some challenges also to understand how to be on the track. So today I thought of doing this video that I felt that it has been an enormous, this particular one aspect that I changed in my life or you can say I incorporated in my life when I was on the, on the uh, spree of achieving certain things in my life. And for the first few years I... Uh, oh, by the way, today is uh, our seventh anniversary of the of my company, The Mantra. And uh, so uh, when I was reflecting today, when everybody was congratulating me on LinkedIn, I was looking at and I reflected on my journey last seven years with uh, my business partner, Nayan Agarwal. We have been through ups and downs. We have been, been to our fair share of fears and um, anxiety. Uh, but hugely, it had been a journey of excitement, excitement to learn new things, excitement to understand the work, excitement to work with people and the people who uh, you know, have come to us. And when we saw the transformations in their lives and businesses, that's where that, that gave us a huge amount of satisfaction, fulfillment. Uh, and, and that's something that we look forward to do all our lives. Uh, yeah, so coming back to the point that whatever I achieved in the past so many years, uh, like 
I would say that 22 years that I spent my life working with people. But majorly in the last few years that I understood a certain thing that about success is, uh, you know, you've always heard this that you have to, at least I had heard that you have to you have to do things yourself. Once you fail, then you learn, then you succeed, blah, 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 blah. Now, all the time, you don't need to do that. You know, sometimes you can also learn from the success and failure of other people. Now, if you see you are the byproduct of the environment that you live in. Okay, you are the byproduct of the environment that you live in. And today, what you are, is because whatever you observed in your environment, that could be your parents, your grandparents, your family members, your teachers, your peers, or anybody, anybody like, you know, whom you observe and whom you relate to or whom you idolize, I would say, or whom you feel is this is something, whether you like that person or you don't like that person. But if you involved emotionally some way in that person's behavior, or in that person's, the way that person is, you will observe, you automatically will pick up those traits and make it your own behavior. Okay. So you are the byproduct of your environment. So have you heard this very often that monkey see, monkey do? If you have heard this, um, just raise your hand or say hi, hello, and say that, yes, you heard this adage that it says that monkey see, monkey do. Uh, thank you, Ritu. Thank you so much for being uh, here and saying congratulations. Yeah. So monkey see, monkey do, guys. What is monkey see and monkey do? Now, you know, there was this uh, interesting research done uh, in US on macaque monkeys. Now, macaque, macaque is a species of particular monkeys. And these monkeys, they had done the uh, research on where they observed that uh, in, in that particular experiment, what they did is they kept two monkeys in the same room. And uh, when one monkey picked up the apple to eat, the other one picked up two. And when one, one monkey, uh, you know, just ate on the apple, the other saw and did the same thing. Now, what happened here is the monkey could hear the sound at the same time, see what's happening. Okay. The other monkey did. Now, what they did is they separated the monkeys and kept them into the different rooms. And now what happened is this monkey could only hear Okay, this monkey could only hear the sound of the apple biting. And the moment this monkey who did not see the previous one, he did the same action. Now, what they did next is they also set, you know, they, 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 they put them in a different, uh, cat, different place altogether. But it's, it's the same thing repeated that both monkeys did the actions together. Now, you may have heard other, ex other experiments also which have happened on this particular day. Now, why this happens? Like, why do we observe or why are we the byproduct of the environment? Is because of the mirror neurons that are there in our brain. Now, these mirror neurons are in every species. They have also seen and observed it into the birds, of course, the monkeys and of course, the animals. And a major part of it that we, uh, we see it in humans in their prefrontal lobe. Now, what happens in humans when you have this mirror neurons? Uh, have you ever seen this that you, uh, you, you watch a movie? Oh, come on. We all have been through this. Okay. This is exciting. So when you are in the movie and there is certain uh, sequence going on. Okay. Now, a uh, sequence could be of uh, people, those who are highly sensitive and emotional may start crying with uh, some Bidaika song or maybe Hum Aapke Hai Kaun types movie or where the movie, where there's extreme emotional scene going on. Okay. Or there could be, you know, the, the, the extreme comedy going on and we all start laughing, you know. Uh, the, uh, the other example I could give you is of cricket or a football. If you watch what happens in cricket and football, when, when a batsman hits the uh, sixer or maybe uh, the bowler takes the wicket or whatever happens at that point of time, or even in football, when you're, when literally those, you know, players maneuvering uh, with the ball and then they hit the goal post or, or they miss the goal post. So you respond to those emotions exactly that you see on the screen whether it's a movie or whether it's a game or whether it's a real life. Now in your brain, you don't really understand whether it's really happening in your life or whether it's a movie going on. 
and what happens in your brain is because of this mirror neurons you actually start relating to the character which is in the movie or on the ground and you start responding to the emotions what with that character's actions yeah you can actually go back and test it okay you actually start feeling that it's you who's involved in that particular action and and that's how you start responding with those emotions now what are these mirror neurons the mirror neurons are basically placed inside your brain for you to observe other people or other things now there are two ways that you learn in your life one is subjective way of learning exposing yourself and putting yourself into that particular uh, experience okay so whatever happens in that experience you learn through that but the other and the best way to learn is being objective now when you are objective you are observing other people going through certain experiences and from there you pick up now you have inbuilt mechanism inside your brain So if you just put a certain intent and tell your brain that this is a person that I want to model, or I want to understand from this person's success and failure. Now, now what happens is when you see when you set up a role model. Now, what has happened as a child is you didn't have a choice. You had your parents in front of you. You had your family members, your grandparents, or your teachers. Those are the people. Those who are there in your life since a childhood. now you didn't have a choice to eliminate observations okay you were you were like a open vessel and every information that you saw or you felt or you could sense went straight inside your brain and that became your reality you you observed those things and you you totally absorbed them and you became what you became right but today when you have setting up a goal that you want to reach a certain level or you want to do something you have a choice Okay, now you, if you come and tell me that you are your environment is not supporting me, hello, I'm sorry, and some of you have messaged me this, so I'm I'm telling you directly to those people, those who have messaged me this. Look, you are you suddenly not because you've set up a goal. Last week also I had discussed this because you've set up a goal that you want to do something in your life. You suddenly can't expect. everybody in your life going to change and put a red carpet to you and say that oh wow we are very good we are very happy and you do this they are all going to be supporting you no that's not going to happen but if you come back and tell me that there is there is no support for me then you have a choice you are grown up today you have a choice of course you cannot eliminate maybe your own relatives or your spouse or whoever is there in your life they love you you don't want to eliminate them but you can create separate environment for yourself so how many of you have read uh, or heard this uh, adage again that you know there are uh, uh, there are uh, the, what you become uh, what you, the books you read or the people you be with you become that person right so what happens here is basically when you uh, when you read those books or when you are with those people you actually are mirroring them you actually a mirror neurons are activated and you're picking up stuff from those people whether it's a misery whether it's a, uh, whether it's a lack of abundance or lack of health or whether it's um, uh, dysfunctional relationships whether it's a great successful relationship or a fabulous health or uh, great money that you desire or great business acumen or uh, fabulous uh, communication skills whether it's a good thing or a bad thing you're just picking up okay so today you have to choose what are the some of the things that you want to choose for yourself you have chosen your goal it is a, a totally 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 your responsibility your success is your responsibility nobody else's if you are not bothered about your success if you are not bothered about changing your environment nobody else will be yeah that's the truth of life nobody else will be because everybody is busy taking care of their own lives so please get back on your track and understand that what is it that you want to change in your life and what is it that you see in other people like suppose you have a goal of becoming a great business person and uh, you want to grow in that area now you idolize a certain business owners those who are there okay 
i won't say that you you observe them now what they are doing but i would say that you try and get an exposure to the things that they did when they were at your level what did they do to reach this level you might be seeing right now that oh they are here right now and i'm observe this but what's the journey there's a gap in the journey that you need to understand what is that gap how did they reach here what did they do to reach here and what did they do to right my so yeah so if you really want to get into that zone of becoming successful and achieving what you want to achieve you have to figure it out how do you bridge that gap from where you are to where you want to go and what all the role models fit into that gap every step you will have a different role model and you will have to pick up that role model understand their journey again pick up those things that you want to pick up from their journey apply it in your life apply application is the key apply it in your life and then see from there whether it is going to make the shift to you or it didn't work if it didn't work change it change and pick up something different but you have to choose what you want to choose right now because your mirror neurons are anyways catching up on people's mirror neurons so you got to figure it out whom do you consciously and unconsciously want to mirror now i see a lot of people those who are in the self improvement or personal development journey i heard this a lot in my workshops and i tell people not to do it people say okay just copy the role models and copy and paste it in your life no don't do that because what will happen is you don't know you see one part of the life of that person you don't see the rest of the areas of the person's life so if you go without filters if you take everything that the person is doing you may become a different person than what you want to become so be very clear of what you want to become after the end of this year yes your goals are basically precious for you because they change you and they turn into turn you into a person who's a different person and whom you aspire to be you don't want to become somebody's copy paste you don't you want to keep your originality and i always tell this to people those who talk to me that you know keep your originality because you're unique you're the best don't change yourself entirely that's not the agenda of this program the agenda of this program is redefine your own self in way that your uniqueness will come out become that best version of best possible version of yourself at this point of time there's always the best there's there's next best and the next best and the next best is going to come but how do you become the best possible version of yourself at this given point so your exercise for this week is to find out those role models first of all those who are already achieved the goal that you have and after that when you choose those role models i would suggest that at least have 5 or 10 minimum 5 because see whatever role whatever goal you are choosing i have spoken this in the first first video whatever goal you are choosing somebody has already achieved it okay yeah that's the truth somebody has already achieved it in the world so just pick up those 5 to 10 people and then figure out how did they achieve that goal how did they reach there it could be anything it could be increasing your endurance and stamina in the body it could be losing a certain amount of weight it could be being on a healthy diet plan it could be uh, you know being a public speaker or uh, having a great confidence or connecting with people effectively becoming that great leader or whichever organization you work for or if you are in a business then what is it that you want to achieve in that space pick up one thing and see those role models if you want to become the best public speaker then choose your 5 to 10 uh public speakers those are your role models those whom you relate to you feel are good pick that up and then obsessively compulsively figure it out how did they become what they become they have they are not born that way nobody in the world is born with what they have born they they are as good as you they have worked their, themselves they have worked really hard to be at this level so what did they do to achieve that particular level and climb that ladder there's no shortcut in life 
there's no shortcut in life friends there's only hard work dedication and yes persistence but most importantly consistency persistence will give you what you want but consistency will keep you what you have got yes let me repeat that again persistence will give you what you want and consistency will keep you what you have got so go for it guys and find out your role models do write to me again on my email or here or on the personal message like you do and let me know if there's any challenge that you're facing i would love to address it next week thank you so much for being here live and thank you people being here thank you rahul thank you vignesh thank you vidushi thank you ritu thank you daniel thank you thank you so much for being here live with me and i'll see you next wednesday 1:30 pm the winning window bye bye have a great 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 afternoon and evening see you